Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects scripting tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to detect keyboard input with the script very easily. And basically what we're going to be doing is making this script here, which has a basic UI, but you can attach it to any UI event or object. And what we're going to be able to do is just start hitting keys and it's going to tell us what we're pressing. So if I press Alt, Control, or Shift, and then a key, it will tell me that. But if I just hit an individual key, it will tell me what that key I'm pressing is, and it will also accept combinations. So what we're gonna do is create a super simple UI with this window and text, and then every time the user presses any key on the keyboard, we're going to run a function and detect which keys they've pressed. Before we get started, I wanna remind you to subscribe down below and hit the bell icon so you know when new videos come out every Monday and Thursday. And of course, down below, check out the GitHub where all the code for this is gonna be located. You can copy and paste it into your project or modify it however you want. And down there, you can also check out my Instagram and follow us on there to be notified of when videos go live. And actually a brand new shout out is now I have a Discord server where you can come in to the general scripting extensions or plugin channels, ask any questions you have, or share knowledge with others. Hopefully this will become a small, close-knit community where we can start uh, getting common questions answered and uh, start collaborating a little bit more together and sharing the wonderful joys of scripting extensions and plugins. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna create a new JavaScript file. And the first thing we need to do is create this very simple window. So what we're going to do is create a variable and just call it our window and we're going to set this equal to a new window and the arguments we need for this will create a palette type window and then we can put in the title as the second argument uh, but we don't really want a title because we're going to put some text inside of it and then lastly you can specify the size and dimensions which we're just going to say undefined so we'll automatically pick the proper size. Then I'm going to create a variable called text and grab my main window here and add some static text, which is what this is called here, is just basic static text. And then it's gonna have an undefined size and the text is gonna say detect keyboard input, or we can say something like press any key. Then we'll want to grab our window and center it in the middle of our screen and then grab our window again and show it. So now we should have the same exact script as we just showed you. And now we just need to implement the listening or functionality of when the user presses something on their keyboard. If you're using extend script, you can go ahead and go to help and the JavaScript tools guide CC. And this will bring up the JavaScript tools guide, which has all of the sort of built-in um, functions and methods for extend script. If you type in keyboard and head down to the keyboard event object, you can see we can detect things like the alt key being pressed, control, shift key, and the key name. There's all sorts of things we can do to access what the user is pressing at any given moment. The way we're going to do this detection of when they press something is by using the key down uh, event listener. So we're going to grab our window here and we're going to add an event listener. And anytime we add an event listener, we need a couple of parameters. The first one is the event name, or in this case, it's what is being done. So if you're familiar with HTML and JavaScript, you might know these as uh, mouse overs or on clicks. In this case, we're going to say key down. So anytime the user presses a key down on their keyboard, as specified inside of our JavaScript tools here, uh, what's gonna happen is it's going to run a certain function. The function we're going to run is the second argument. So what I'm gonna do is just say alert key. We're gonna call it that the function, and we'll define alert key as a function right here. And then lastly, you can put in the capture phase, which is optional. Then inside of our, our alert key function, I'll just go ahead and say hello, just to make sure we're getting inside of this function. So if I run the script and inside of After Effects, I go ahead and hit any key, you can see we're going to get an alert saying hello. This is the first step in creating our keyboard input detection. We now have basically anytime we hit a key on the keyboard, whether it's control, shift, a letter, a number, it's going to tell us hello. So what we need to do now, instead of just alerting hello, we need to create a keyboard event object that we can then grab the key name from, for example, A, B, C, and then we can also grab other keys like if the alt key, the control key, or the shift key is being pressed. So we're gonna create a variable called uh, just something like key state or my key state, and we'll set this equal to our script UI, and this will refer to our overall script that is actually running, and then we're going to grab the attribute called the environment. 
And lastly, if we hit dot and hit K, you can see we can get the keyboard state, and that's exactly what we want. We want to get the object for the keyboard state of the current script. And this needs to be camel cased, so I'll make sure that's lowercase. Now if I go ahead and instead of alerting hello, I'm going to alert my key state and see what we get. So if I hit any key on the keyboard, now I'm going to get it to alert our keyboard state object. And again, if we refer back to the guide, now with this object, we can get any of these sub properties, which is what we're gonna to use to identify what key they're pressing. So in our case, if we just say key state dot key name, we wanna get the name of the key, for example, the letter. And if we run it, if we hit say T, it's gonna give us the letter T and any key I hit, it's gonna give me the exact letter of it. If I hit shift, control, or alt, however, it's going to leave me with undefined. So I'm gonna create a variable to sort of store all of the buttons that are being pressed on the keyboard. And if the shift key is being pressed, we're gonna add shift to that. If the control key is being pressed as well, we're going to add that, etc. So I'll create a variable called pressed string to represent a string of all the keys being pressed. And the first value of this is going to be our key name. So this is just going to be the same thing as whatever letter you press, but now we're gonna check if other keys are being pressed as well. So I'm going to grab my key state. If our key state dot shift key is valid, um, then that means they're holding down the shift key as well. So if I go ahead and say, you're holding down shift, and I run this, if I hit any key, it's gonna tell me the letter, but if I hold down shift, it will tell me that I'm holding down shift. So the goal here is to just add on the string now that we've checked that we're holding down shift. So I'm gonna take my pressed string, which will for starters again just contain the letter that's being pressed on the keyboard, and we're gonna set this equal to shift plus our pressed string. And now we're going to alert the pressed string instead of the key state. So now if I run it, hit any key, again, I'm gonna get the exact name of the key I'm pressing on the keyboard, but now if I hold down shift, I'm gonna get shift plus undefined. The problem is, anytime you press any key on the keyboard, it's gonna run this and alert. So what we need to do is say, we only want to alert what keys are being pressed if they press an actual letter. So you don't wanna just press shift and have that do a command usually. So in order to do this, we're going to say if our key state dot key name is valid, then we want to alert the press string. What this means is we'll only alert whatever strings are being pressed if there is a letter being pressed as well. So if we run this, hit a letter, we're going to go ahead and alert the letters. But now if we hold down shift, we're gonna get sticky keys. So if we hold down just shift, it's not gonna do anything. So what we need to do now is make sure we have a letter selected as well. So I'll say like shift I, and it's gonna tell me exactly that I had shift I pressed. Now we're just gonna run through the same thing and do it for the alt and control keys. Again, in the guide, we have properties for each of these, so it makes it super easy. So first I'm gonna say alt key, and you can see it actually recognizes it under the uh, keyboard state object here. And instead of saying shift, I'll say alt, and then we'll change this to control key and update the text to control. Now if I go ahead and run this, let's try some combinations here like Control D, Alt Q, Control Shift P. And you can see it's easily going to stack different key combinations on top of each other. So basically what you can do is take all of this logic and information to do a couple of things. If we wanted to go ahead and say only alert something if a certain key combination is being pressed, let's say our keyboard shortcut is going to be Shift uh, R. That's going to be our key to alert something inside of our script. So the way we check if those two keys specifically are being checked is we're going to say if our key state dot key name is equal to R and our key state dot shift key is valid. We don't need to put is equal to true or does not equal null. We can just say does this return a value that's not undefined then the logic is true. And if that's the case We'll say, congrats, you pressed the combo. Just to say you pressed the right combination of keys. So now we can press all the keys we want. Nothing's gonna happen if we hold down shift and all these other letters until we say shift R, which will give us the proper alert for those specific key combinations.
That's actually going to do it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That is how to detect keyboard input using a script in After Effects. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and hit subscribe and the bell icon down below to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly. Again, all the code for this will be in the GitHub link in the description. And down there, you can also follow on Instagram to be notified exactly when new videos are being uploaded. Of course, make sure you check out our new Discord channel, which is going to have lots of information about scripting, extensions, and plugins for help and collaborations. And the last bit of housekeeping for the channel is if you'd like to donate in crypto, I will accept Bitcoin, Ethereum, or basic attention token using the Brave browser. All the addresses for that will be in the description down below as well. Thanks again for watching everyone and we'll see you in the next one.